Thank you for trusting Aurora Rally Equipment Products and welcome to the Aurora family. This video will show you a step-by-step -step installation for the Aurora 950 and 990 Rally Kit. Start by carefully opening the kit box. Take out the kit parts and put them on a clean surface. Here is a list of the tools you need to install the kit on your bike. Start disassembling the bike by removing the windscreen and the front side panels. Remove these bolts using the appropriate Allen socket. Use a flat screwdriver to disconnect the turn signals. Remove the air intake. Remove the headlight and disconnect its plug. Carefully cut and remove all zip ties that keep the cables in place. Unplug the pressure sensor. Disconnect every electrical plug, taking care not to damage the cables. This is a fairly old bike exposed to rain and dirt Thus, it might need some effort to disconnect some plugs. Remove the two bolts that keep this bracket in its position. Remove the relays from the bracket. Use a small set of pliers to remove the connectors from the bracket. Take off the bracket. Remove the bolts that keep the tip over sensor in place. Remove the five nuts that keep the speedometer and the rev counter in place. Take off the speedometer and the rev counter. Remove the three bolts that support the dash cover on the tower. Use a ratchet to remove the bolts that secure the tower on the frame. Use a wrench on the other side to hold the nut. When removing the tower, take care not to damage the cables. In order to remove the main switch, Use a cutting wheel to create a groove on each security bolt. Then, use a flat screwdriver to remove them. If the bolts are not coming loose, use a drill and create a 4mm hole in the middle of each security bolt. Remove the right side frame cover. Locate the main switch plug and disconnect it with the help of a flat screwdriver. Time to prepare the Aurora Rally Navigation Tower. Remove the protective cloth. Remove the lower cover of the tower. Remove the main switch bracket. Remove the nuts and the small spacers. Install the main switch on the bracket then the small spacers, and finally, the washers and the nuts. Secure the switch in place and align it properly, keeping the switch in the center of the bracket. If your bike is a 990, you must install the ECU on the lower cover of the tower. Start by securing the ECU bracket on the lower cover using the supplied nuts and bolts. Install the ECU on the bracket. Make sure the ECU plugs are aligned toward the narrow side of the cover. Optionally, you can support the horn on the same bolt by using the supplied plain M6 nut. Secure the main switch bracket on the tower. 
Remove the two head clamp M8 mounting bolts and the black spacers from the tower. Remove the plain M8 nut that keeps the tower in shape when new. Install the ABS switch on the designated location. The stock turn signals are too big to install on the navigation tower. We recommend replacing them with smaller LED ones. You can find LED conversions at your local KTM dealer. If you want to keep the originals, you must drill the kit side panels and install them at the stock position. Align the tower with the head clamp and insert the mounting bolt into position from the right side of the bike. Install the black spacers between the tower and the frame mount, one on each side of the mount. This bike has plenty of cables, relays, and plugs to fit inside the navigation tower. Here, you see our recommended arrangement of the relays. Support the main harness on the lower spacer of the tower using a zip tie. Install the plug and play wiring harness. Use a zip tie to secure the pressure sensor on the tower. Time to fit all the plugs and the cables in the tower. Use zip ties to secure them on the tower. Use EVA foam on the plastic connectors to avoid rattling noises from the tower. Take your time. Do not rush and be careful not to damage any cables. This is our recommended mounting position for the supplied dual USB charger. In order to avoid rattling noise, put EVA foam between the charger and the tower. Time to install the lower tower cover. Connect the horn and the ECU plugs. Support the tip over sensor on the cover using zip ties. Take care to mount it right side up. Secure the lower cover in its place. Secure the navigation tower on the bike. A torque wrench should be used. Set it at 25 Newton meters. Put the windscreen on the bike and secure the quarter turn bolts. Align the screen pins and start securing the upper part of the tower as shown in the video. Torque tighten the remaining M8 bolts of the navigation tower, starting from the lower one. Prepare the side panels for installation. Drill the three mounting points on each panel using a 6mm drill. Install the speedometer on the navigation bracket. Remove the rubber gasket. Secure the speedometer in its place using the stock washers and nuts. Next, Cut the supplied rubber hose to six small parts. Use these to permanently support the mounting bolts on the inside of the side panels.
Install the side panels on the bike. Start with the upper bolt, then the lower ones. Make sure the upper part of the panel lies beneath the windscreen. Align the windscreen with the side panel and use a marker to mark where you need to drill each panel. Remove the windscreen. Use a drill to create three 9mm holes on each side. Install the supplied well nuts on each panel following the on-screen procedure. Put the screen on the bike and secure the side panels on the screen using the supplied bolts. Install the navigation bracket on the tower. Start by plugging in the speedo. Install the two rear M6 bolts and locate the proper position of the anti-vibration mounts. Remove the navigation bracket and secure the anti-vibration mounts in their place. Install the bracket back in place and tighten the supporting M6 bolts. Finally, check that all the M6 hex bolts of the navigation tower are properly secured. Torque them to 8 newton meters. Your Aurora Rally Kit is ready for its first ride. Start by getting the bike out of the building. If you need more help, feel free to send us an email or call us. Thank you for choosing Aurora Rally Equipment.